The last two abstracts in the meeting in kidney uh, cancer, very uh, interesting, at least in uh, uh, kidney cancer. Um, um, one is subgroup analysis from Checkmate 25, which is a randomized phase 3 trial of nivolumab versus standard everolimus. Dr. Mozer and colleagues looked at subgroup analysis and did find actually um, that the benefit in terms of overall survival with nivolumab is consistent across multiple subgroups. They looked at one prior uh, therapy versus two or more. They looked at a, a different uh, risky group, uh, especially in the poor risk, the effect is really very significant. Uh, they looked also at patients with liver bone metastases. Same thing, and in parallel, Meteor, which is a similar design study versus Everolimus, second or further line study uh, that used an experimental agent called cabozantinib, which is an oral tyrosine kinase inhibitor against the VEGF receptor, but also against MET and XL. And in this study presented by Dr. Escudier from France, again, there was subgroup analysis, the number of metastatic sites, the risk group, uh, the tumor burden, um, as well as the liver bone metastases, having received the prior uh, immune checkpoint blocker, etc. And the progression-free survival, if you look at the hazard ratio, they um, are all in the direction of cabozantinib over everolimus. So no uh, shocking or no um, alarming uh, finding here that goes in the other direction toward everolimus. So cabozantinib is superior to everolimus as well as nivolumab on further studies of subgroup. There are other interesting um, uh, data. There are um, data in renal cell looking at extreme responder or resistant nivolumab work from Sloan Kettering, Dana Farber, and Harvard, as well as uh, John Hopkins looking at the difference in the mutational load as well as the neoantigen load and immune signature between these two groups. There is interesting data from Dr. De Velasco uh, looking at the pattern of relapse. Um, uh, and a pattern of coming off therapy with fir first line, whether it's due to toxicity or real progression, whether it influences your response to second line of treatment. Important question for clinical care, there is data with atezolizumab in um, a bladder cancer, pdl one inhibitor. In prostate cancer, there's a lot of uh, uh, data presented, mostly subgroup uh, analysis. There is an interesting um, uh, data from a large phase three trial from Dr. Nick James, the Stampede trial, where where interestingly found the COX-2 inhibitor uh, uh, plus silicoxib plus uh, zolandrenic acid may result in a survival uh, benefit, their data. It's a, this is a great meeting, a lot of food for thoughts, and we're having fun.